Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be doing a first impression review over the Kylie Cosmetics Kai Shadow Palette. And I got this a few days ago and I'm finally able to film and do a first impression. And I'm super curious about this because I've heard very mixed reviews. Some people really like it, some people really don't like it. And honestly, I wasn't really planning on purchasing this just because... I thought it was overpriced and I still think it's overpriced um, but you know I just bit the bullet and did it because I really like to collect makeup and this is definitely a collectible item in my opinion and I know I'm going to use it so this is what it looks like um, the packaging is pretty cool I like the cover however I feel like it feels really cheap it's just a cardboard package and then we open it up it just says Kylie no mirror which kind of pisses me off because you're paying 40 something dollars for it plus another like nine dollars in shipping you can't even get a mirror I don't know. As for the actual shadows, you get nine, and I really like the color selection. I really like how you can get a variety of looks. Um, there are two shimmers, and then the rest are mattes, and the pan size is very good. It's a pretty standard pan size, and then on the back, it has all the names. So I already have all the rest of my makeup on, and I need to do my eye makeup, so I'm going to use this palette solely for my eye makeup, and we'll see how it applies, how it blends, all that good stuff. I'm going to try to use as many colors as possible, but I still want it to be like a look, because I need to film a few more videos today. So if you want to see the Kai shadows in action, just keep on watching. Alright, so first one I'm using is this one up here, which I believe is Topaz. And this is just kind of like a matte best friend crease color. Ooh, um, there is definitely a lot of kickback, if you can see that. That's very, very powdery, so be sure to tap off the excess. It's a very uh, soft shadow, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but make sure you tap off that excess. And I'm just going to put this into the crease. So far, so good. I really like the shadow. I think it's a very good transition shadow, which I think is pretty essential in any makeup look. And I always really appreciate it when a good, like, best friend color is incorporated into a palette. This one is definitely blending out nicely. It's not patchy or anything. And it's a good matte. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade called Quartz, which is kind of their version of a shimmery champagne. And I'm going to place this all over the lid. This shadow doesn't have as much kickback, which I think is nice. And it's pretty. It's definitely not as pigmented as Stila's Kitten, but it's still very pretty. And I feel like with this palette, you're going for more of a, like, a matte look anyways, so it kind of goes with that. But if you were expecting the shimmer to be like, bam, in your face metallic... Um, it's not necessarily that. Next I'm going to go in with the shade Citrine, which is the matte orange in the palette. And I've never used like a matte orange on my eyes before. So this will be very exciting. I'm just going to take a small crease brush and just blend it into the crease. You know that shade really did warm up the look. And it's not like orange in your face, at least not how I'm using it, which I like. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Hematite, which is kind of like a brick red burgundy shade. And again, it's one of the mattes. I'm going to go in with that same crease brush and just kind of concentrate it in the outer portion of my crease. And now with the pencil brush, I'm going to go in with the shade called Bronzite. And this is the deep, like, chocolate brown shade. And I'm just going to deepen everything up a bit. Ooh, I just got brown eyeshadow all over my white desk, um, tapping off the excess. So that'll be fun to clean up. And now with a clean fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend out all of the edges. I feel like I need to do something for my bottom lash line, so I'm going to go back in with the shade um, Hematite down here. And just place it on the bottom lash line and kind of smoke it out a bit. I'm actually going to add a little bit of that deep brown shade too. And then for highlight, I'm going to take the shade Jasper, which is the creamy highlight shade in the palette. Now that's pretty. 
I didn't expect the highlight to look that good. And I might as well just add a little bit of that to the inner corner. Okay, so I'm done with the eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and do liner and mascara and all that good stuff, and I will be right back. And I'm back with my eye makeup complete, and I decided to add some false lashes just because I thought it would be fun. Um, but honestly, to my surprise, I'm pretty, like, I'm pretty happy with this palette. I was expecting to be more so disappointed in it than anything, but I'm pretty pleased with the eyeshadow look I came up with today. Everything blended out really nicely. Nothing was patchy. Nothing was hard to work with. Everything was pigmented. Um, I do wish that the shimmer was a little bit more pigmented, but you know, to each your own. I have plenty of other super shimmery shadows, so it's fine. I'm actually pretty pleased with what I used today. Now there are three shadows that I didn't use today. Um, it was this one which I think is Tiger's Eye, this one which should be Goldstone, and then the black which is Obsidian. So I'm just going to do a quick swatch of those. So the first one I'm going to swatch is Tiger's Eye. And here it is on my hand. It's just a mid-tone warm brown and I think it looks really nice. It's not patchy. It seems like it would blend out really nicely. It reminds me of the feel of the other matte shadows, so that's good. Next, I'm going to swatch Goldstone, which is the other shimmer in the palette. And this one's more of like a bronzy shimmer. And that's what it looks like on my hand. Um, again, it's kind of like the other shimmer in the palette where it's not like boom in your face like sparkle or like metallic or anything but it's still pretty um I wish it was a little bit bolder honestly I wish it was more of like a bronze but it's pretty and I definitely think it would be wearable and then lastly we're going to swatch obsidian which is the black and that's what obsidian looks like and this one definitely I'm going to say is the weakest link out of the whole palette just because it's not like really really rich in pigment and it's a little patchy and it's kind of I don't know I feel like this one's a little bit harder to blend and I don't know for a black I think you really need to make it like perfect because there are a lot of good blacks out on the market so that one is definitely the weakest link of the whole palette but the other shades I think are really pretty so all in all I think I'd give this palette a B plus I like it I'm happy with the look it gave me but I'm not sure if it deserves an A quite yet. Um, first of all, the packaging, I feel like for the price, which I think it's $42 to $45, I think it's way overpriced. Um, I wish there was a mirror. I wish it was not just cardboard. I mean, compared to like my Too Faced palettes like this that have a little mirror and they have also nine shadows and it's just a little bit better quality. It's only like $35. And for $10 more, I feel like this isn't quite there. And then, of course, the shipping costs on top of that. So the packaging is my favorite, even though I do like the cover. I think it's really pretty. Um, I just wish that there was, like, a mirror or that it was maybe a little bit more sturdy feeling. As for the shadows inside, I think that they are really nice. I like the color selection she gave us. I think there are a ton of looks that you can do with this. You can do super neutral looks. You can do super... Um, like bolder looks you can do a smoky eye I do wish the black was a little better my one thing with the shadows and this is mainly just for the matte shadows which is the majority of the palette is that there is a lot a lot a lot of kickback it kind of reminds me of like the Lorac Pro palettes you know how soft those shadows are it's like that's how soft these are um, but they do blend really well. I really like the look I came up with. But with that said, they do blend really well and the mattes are very pigmented and I know a matte formulation is harder to create. Usually those tend to be more problematic. So I think she did well with those. I just wish it was a little bit like more put together. Like it needs more binder or something. Um, but you know, all in all, I would give this palette a B plus. Do you need it? No, I don't think you absolutely need to go and get it like right now. And of course, if you don't want to spend basically over $50 for a little eyeshadow palette, um, there are so many dupes out there. I know the Morphe uh, shadows that are the warm palette. I don't have it personally, but I know those are supposed to be good. I know Milani has an eyeshadow palette that has a lot of similar colors to this. You don't get as many shades, but it's only $10 and they're really good quality. Um, so, you know, don't feel like you need to get this palette. 
palette in order to get like the Kylie look because that's definitely not a thing. But if you want the palette, you have the money for it, and you're really into the Kylie Cosmetics thing, then yeah, I think you should get it because, you know, it's kind of like collectible in that sense and it's pretty good quality. But again, if you're super into makeup and you're super into collecting like the new hot items or you're just really into Kylie Cosmetics, I think you'd enjoy it and you'd use it, which is basically the most important thing when you buy makeup is if you're going to use it or not. Um, and yeah, a B plus. I'm going to stick with my B plus rating, so yep. I always feel weird giving reviews of products I think are like good but not like you need to go run out and get right now. That's just one of these videos. Like it's good but it's not like you gotta have it this second. Go order it like now. Alright everyone so that is everything for this first impression review of the Kylie Cosmetics Kai Shadow Palette. If you liked it give me a thumbs up and if you want to see any other first impression reviews let me know what you want to see in the comments down below. Um, but that is everything for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye!